you made your choice of A-level subjects a long time ago. It was like a much longer than it actually was. Um, maybe this was before school shut, maybe this was after school shut, maybe you got to do some trial sessions, maybe you didn't get to do some trial sessions. Um, but it is not too late to change your mind. When we get to the end of year 12, we start talking about UCAS. And every single time there is a heartbreaking conversation with a student who has their dream um, degree in mind, their dream university in mind, their dream career in mind. And then we sit down and we look at the combination of their A-levels and what the university requires to get them onto that course and they don't match up which means they either have to pick another course, pick another degree, don't go and do the, the qualification, don't go into the career that they've dreamed about for the whole of their life, or they potentially have to go back and plan to do an A-level in a year, so another one in year 13, or to do an A-level in a year and become a year 14 student. And this is not a good situation to be in because with a little bit of advice at the right time, which is now, um, this situation can easily be avoided. Now, some of you will have your dream career, your dream university in mind already sorted, and some of you will have absolutely no idea what you want to do. And that is fine. Both of these situations are absolutely fine. Now, I know it seems crazy early to start thinking about this, but, if you have a vague idea of what you want to go and do at university, go and look at entrance requirements. Um, for lots and lots of things that you wouldn't expect, something like a level maths is required. And even if maths isn't your favourite subject, but you need it to get onto your place at university, then maybe you do actually need to take a level maths. If you are not sure in any way what you want to do, then you can look at things like facilitating subjects. Now, these are subjects which are kind of like the more traditional subjects, so like maths, sciences, modern foreign languages, geography, history, English, which universities um, know that they are good subjects, they know that they teach a wide range of skills, and they know that there are lots and lots of good things to be gained by students taking these subjects. So if you take a couple of facilitating subjects, two of these, and then maybe one other that's something you're really interested in, something you really, really want to do, then by taking facilitating subjects, you actually open the doors really, really widely to things that you want to do at university. Now, when we're talking about picking subjects, don't pick three subjects that are really, really close together. So kind of like maths, further maths and further additional maths. Don't do three maths A-levels. That is a thing, I know someone who did that because that is really, really going to limit your choices at university. You're not going to get onto an arts or a biology degree if you've got three maths A-levels. For medicine, chemistry is a really important A-level. Some cases more important than biology. But it's not the sort of thing you would assume. You would assume that biology is the most important A-level for medicine when it's not, it's chemistry. And I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. And if you don't believe me, go and look for yourself. If you know exactly what you want to do, then great, go and have a look. And if you're not sure what you want to do at university, then just start dreaming pick a university and go and look through the title of um, the degree courses and until you come across one that actually sounds quite interesting. You can do degree courses in textiles, you can do degree courses in performing arts, you can do degree courses in nearly anything that you've thought of or even not thought of because quite often the titles of your A-levels do not in any way match up to the titles of the degree course. Now is the right time to make this decision. 
not at the end of year 12 when we start filling in new cast forms because by then it's too late so you will either have to start again or you will have to try and squeeze an extra a level in there somewhere now is the time to start looking at it and it is not too late to change your mind we have not started back at school yet if you um want to change your mind if you want to drop subjects add subjects if you're not sure and maybe you just want to try a full subject and then work out which one you're going to drop go and talk to your teachers your teachers are nice people who want to help you succeed and they will most of the times be able to help you sort that out even up to i'd say probably october half term is the very very latest that you could possibly change but if you get a week into your ADEM courses and realize that this is definitely not for you and you really really want to be doing something else then go and talk to your teachers change is still possible not only change within schools or colleges but changing schools or colleges to go somewhere else to do something else so it is not too late guys um we are at the stage where we have to start making really big really grown up really scary decisions um but the sooner we start thinking about these decisions the less scary they become um i have made loads of advice videos on this on um picking your degree degree apprenticeships apprenticeships um, all of the different ways that you can go on to higher education and there are so many fun things out there that you can do that you've probably never thought of and not many schools talk to students about this now but now is definitely the right time to be having this conversation um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way Ouch Lovely mm, cute cream.